Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Taurus. Taurus, this is your monthly general reading for September 2019. I'm using the Tarot of Dreams to pull a major theme and energy for you this month, Taurus. Beautiful! So you have the Sun. Alright, very positive. I'm also pulling from the Madam Andorra. And I will also be using messages from your animal spirit guides. And for your monthly general messages, Taurus, I am using the Morgan Greer Tarot. At the end of your reading, I will be pulling several life purpose cards for you as well. Beautiful. You have the wizard. Use your skills to aid others. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What does Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign need to know in September? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, beautiful. We have the Scarab Beetle Spirit. Magic works through you. All right. Thank you, Spirit. What does Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign need to know? September 2019. Thank you, Spirit. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. All right. Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign, Spirit. Thank you. All right, we're ready, Taurus. We had a flyer. All right, so this is gonna be an extra message for you. We have the two of rods. Situation of the month is the two of pentacles. Crossing you is the fool. Beautiful. You have the sun again in your foundation, Taurus. Love it. Recent past energies. We have the five of pentacles. Cross, I mean, crowning you is the knight of pentacles. New circumstance is the seven of swords. What you need to know is the four of cups. Your environment is the Page of Pentacles. Advice from the universe is the Ten of Cups. And we have the Five of Swords is your outcome energy. All right. And I'm clarifying that with the Ace of Pentacles. All right. All right, Taurus. So we have two suns out here. So very significant. Uh, the sun is, you know, shining brightly on you in the month of September. You have clear vision. You have clarity. You have, you know, some type of creative vision that's uh, successful. Now, we have two twos coming up here. 22 may be a number that's very significant to some of you as well. And we also have two fives, so the number 55 could be very significant to some of you. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's take a look at your major energies here. So we have the sun. This is the energy of Leo. You could be dealing with the Leo as well. Um, this, like I said, this is discovering the truth of a situation or maybe a person. Uh, this can represent having just a, you're going to be able to see through anything, all right? Nobody's going to be able to come at you uh, with BS. You're going to see right through it. There's a lot of creativity. There's a lot of success here with this energy coming up here, Taurus. Now you have the wizard. Use your skills to aid others. Wow, this is a major energy. I'm getting that many of you are mentors. Uh, you're just a natural, uh, I'm getting the magician in my mind's eye right here. So manifesting and co-creating, I feel like 
is a something else that is going to be on point for you 100% in the month of September. I feel uh, you guys are just a beacon for others and you help others and you help aid them. Even if it's just giving them an ear uh, or a shoulder to cry on, you know, you're there and you're very loyal. And this is just, you know, magical. This is a very magical reading here. Like I said, the magician. The scarab beetle spirit is a very magical energy right here. Um, very powerful. Magic works through you. Yes, it does. Taurus, you know, this is going to be the month for you to start really co-creating what it is that your heart's true desire is. All right? Manifesting, bring it here uh, in your reality. You have the power to do so. All right, this is the extra message. The two of rods. So this is you. This stepping into your personal power here. This is the energy of achievement, okay? Doesn't matter which door you walk through, which path you decide to take. Spirit says you own it, you got it, all right? So don't get caught up in thinking that if you make the wrong decision. It's nothing like that. It doesn't matter what you choose. You make it yours and you will be successful. All right, we have the Two of Pentacles as the current situation. The Two of Pentacles tells me that you've got a lot going on. you got a lot on your plate, Taurus. Um, some of you could be uh, needing to make a decision or wanting to make a decision about some type of uh, financial decision, all right? Something involves your finances. This does tell me that you do have a lot on your plate, but you're doing it gracefully. People admire you. They they feel like, I don't know how Taurus does all of that. There's no way I can have that much going on, you know, and still keep the, the pinnacles, right, in the air. So, amazing energy to start with, Taurus. Now we have the Fool, and I just love this, all right? This is in your crossing energy. This is a new journey, a new beginning, taking a leap of faith, having a free spirit. Most importantly, you're trusting in the universe. So beautiful. Here's the sun again, energy of Leo. This is you. Drive, this is what's driving you, moving you forward this month, Taurus. You have clarity. You know how you're going to get to where you're going. You know you're going to be creative. You know you're going to be successful. You just know. You have this clarity. The sun is shining on you. Very powerful energy right here. This is going to be a good month to start new projects. Start, uh, go after that job maybe that you've been wanting. Uh, this is, yes, this is all yes, yes, yes. You know, if you came to this reading and you needed an answer, uh, uh, you know, a question answered, it's yes. You have yes here coming up here twice. So, Spirit says, Taurus, you are capable of manifesting and uh, stepping into that magician role here and co-creating your heart's true desire. Success is here for you in the month of September. So, we have the Five of Pentacles coming up here in your recent past energy. The Five of Pentacles can sometimes represent a, a feeling of lack or hardship, okay? And I feel like this is what you're coming out of. And, you know, things are looking very positive for you. So for those of you that are feeling, you know, that's been going through anything that was rough in the month of August, you're coming out of this energy right here, okay? Now we have the Knight of Pentacles coming through here in your crowning position. This is what you know what you're thinking about. This is your energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. This is you being very hardworking, responsible. You're very realistic. You're persistent. You know what you want. You're going after it. You know the Knight of Pentacles is slower than the other Knights, and that's perfectly fine. He doesn't overlook anything, all right? There's nothing missed. And in the long run... You know, there's something gained here, and usually in a financial uh, type of way, all right? And it's something that can be very long-lasting for you as well. Now we have the Seven of Swords coming up here. 
uh, I, is your new circumstance. I'm not getting any type of deceit, theft, or loss, or anything like that. I'm getting that some of you are literally taking uh, some classes, maybe a workshop. Um, this could be you gaining, just gaining more knowledge. This could be you getting and Googling or uh, really gaining some knowledge on how you're going to move forward, what you're working towards. And this is also another representation of making sure that you don't overlook anything and all your T's are crossed and I's are dotted as well. This is you being very thorough. What you need to know is the Four of Cups. All right. Uh, the Four of Cups is an energy of maybe some hesitation. There may be a need for you to pause and reflect, to do some time of introspection, maybe go into hermit mode, to maybe gain some insight on an opportunity that is coming your way. Uh, this shows a hand coming from the clouds with the cup here. And you're kind of doubting it. You're hesitating because you've already been offered these other three cups right here right but it wasn't what you wanted just be mindful that something is coming in um an opportunity a blessing and make sure you don't overlook it all right don't judge a book by its cover right all right your environment is the page of pentacles again taurus virgo capricorn energy this is very positive this is you know you starting new projects maybe within the home some of you may be remodeling. Some of you may be uh, redecorating. Um, some of you may be working from home. You may, uh, you know, you may already start to be seeing some type of uh, financial gain coming into the home with what it is that you've started here. All right, this represents you've planted the seeds, you've nurtured it. There's been growth and expansion. You may be starting to see that come back to you now. All right, very positive. Some of you may be receiving messages as well. Uh, maybe with a home loan, an auto loan is what Spirit is saying. Uh, it could be a loan for this remodeling or redecorating as well. Now your advice from the universe is there's a promise of more to come, my friends. All right, Taurus, I love this. So, the you know, you have a rainbow coming out of this cup, all right, that's runneth over. So there's endless opportunities and possibilities for you. Spirit says you're on the right path. You're going in the right direction. This peace, this harmony and joy that you hold within your heart, this, you know, this ultimate happiness, it's not over with. Um, continue on. Keep doing what you're doing, Taurus. Now we have the Five of Swords clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. This is your outcome energy. Now, the Five of Swords can oftentimes represent, you know, a feeling of conflicting interest, maybe some disagreements, some arguments. Uh, be mindful how uh, pick and choose your battles wisely is what I always say with this energy. There could be some disagreements over uh, some money. Uh, this is, you know, the Ace of Pentacles represents reward for effort prosperity something that as long as it's nurtured can be very long lasting all right so you could be having some type of disagreements with someone when it comes to money i'm getting somebody may owe you some money as well i do feel like whatever this has to do with whatever this conflict it's going to work out uh, this could be a situation where it's going to take money to work this situation out. But <clears throat> whatever this has to do with, it's it's definitely going to work itself out. Let me get a drink. Sorry, Taurus. I'm trying to look here. Just know that you are the magician this month, Taurus. You're embodying that energy with the wizard coming up here. <clears throat> and that with that coming up, that tells me that any situation, whether it's conflicting interests, disagreements, you're going to be, be able to 
work your magic and work it out, okay? And there's some type of reward for effort coming in here for you as well. It's almost like <clears throat> this energy of these disagreements or arguments that are taking place here. That it's not going unnoticed, all right? What you're going through, whatever this is. And I feel like you're going to be rewarded for your effort. Very interesting. All right, Taurus, you have the sun coming up here twice. Clarity, creative vision, success. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. I have been talking all morning. Spirit says use your skills to aid others. And getting this scarab beetle is such a good omen for you, Taurus. Magic works through you. Yes, it does. Use that magic, you know, manifest and co-create what it is that you truly want in your situation you have this two of rods coming up here you are stepping into your personal power achievement here the two of pentacles represents you know you having a lot going on in your situation there could be a choice or decision that needs to be made about your financial situation that could be what this argument is about as well. <clears throat> now you have the fool here. You're ready to start a new journey, a new beginning. You're trusting and believing in the universe. And mind you, this is a successful new beginning, new journey that you're on as well. You just have all the clarity that you need. You're coming out of a space of maybe some obstacles and challenges, hardships. You are very practical at this time. You're moving forward. Slow and steady wins the race is what I'm getting here with this Knight of Pentacles. This is something that is going to bring about long-lasting financial gain for you. You're making sure you're not overlooking anything. Uh, there is a need for you to maybe go within and see what's being offered when you have options or opportunities come up for you this month don't overlook um, something that could really really uh, be what you want all right there may be some a need to dig a little bit deeper to really see what's in this cup that's being offered this page of Pentacles some of you are remodeling some of you are decorating some of you work from home you own your own business or you're starting a new project there's some type of financial gain i feel from this as well spirit says there's a promise of more to come taurus uh infinite possibilities here all right blessings keep doing what you're doing all right the work that you're doing is not going unnoticed and you will be rewarded all right with this ace of pentacles clarifying this this energy of the five of swords i feel like this disagreement this is somebody that is disagreeing, that's not being fair to you, Taurus. And you're doing the right thing. And with you doing the right thing, you will be rewarded for your effort, okay? That's what Spirit's telling me. All right. Thank you, Spirit. All right, we have music. Oracle cards. Hey, love it. And trust. All right, so we have music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. Oracle cards. You are able to discern, to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. If some of you have been thinking about starting uh, to read tarot cards uh, or interested in it or even working with crystals this is the time spirit says you know follow through with it go ahead and uh, start gaining that knowledge and uh, start doing it turn it turns turn a dream into a reality here and you have all the tools that you need Taurus at this time to be able to do so as well trust 
Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. And you've got it here. You're listening to your intuition because you have clarity. All right, Taurus, I love you guys. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Taurus.